In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add a custom header for mobile using Divi. Let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is to head over to this blog post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. Scroll down until you get to get it for free today and then click on download the files. Now I've already gone ahead and downloaded the files. So the next step now is to add it onto our website. So over here, I'm on my website, scroll all the way down here to Divi and then click on theme builder. Now it's time to install our template. So you want to click here on portability, click on import, and I'm just going to bring my file here and drag and drop it just like that. And then import theme builder template. Now it's time to customize our header. So I'm going to come over here to this pencil icon to go into my settings. So for this, I'm going to use my layers. So I'm going to come over here and click on my layers. So now that I have my layers open, I'm going to start off with the top layer. So I'm going to click that to uh, open it up and I'm going to click it one more time. I'm going to go into the first column here by clicking into this gear icon to go into my column settings. Click on advanced visibility. And for this one here, I am going to disable this on phone and tablet. So I'm going to save for now. Next, I'm going to open the settings for column two. Come over here into this column. And I am going to now open up these two modules. So I'm going to start with the top one. And all I need to do here is just to make sure that everything is aligned uh, correctly. So I'm going to come over here to design text, scroll down to text alignment. And I'm going to click on this little icon because I really want to target my tablet and my phone and make this align to the left. So I'm going to do the same for the phone. Now I can save, come back into the other one, do the same thing. Click on uh, design text. I'm all the way down here until I get to uh, text alignment, targeting the tablet, align it to the left and do the same to phone. I'm now going to hit save. All right. So the next step now is to build our new sticky header section. So I'm going to come over here and duplicate this. And one of them is going to be for our mobile. We're going to go into this section and hide it on mobile. So I'm going to click on this gear icon, click advanced, and then go to visibility and make sure that this is disabled on phone and tablet. I'm going to hit save. Now I'm going to go into the next one, which is this one. Click on the gear icon and then go into advanced uh, visibility. And for this one here, I need to make sure that it's disabled on the desktop. So I'm going to select that. Now, while we're here, let's go to our scroll effect to make sure that this is sticking to the top and then save. So the next step now is to go into my row settings. So I'm going to click here on row settings, design, sizing. We're going to play with a gutter width and set it to one. And for my width, I'm going to set this to 94%. All right, so that's all we need to do here. I'm going to save. Next, we need to go into our module settings by clicking on this gear icon. I need to add my logo. So I'm going to click here on logo, add image. I'm just going to use this as my logo for now. Click upload an image. Now I'm going to come over here to design layout. And I need to make sure that my layout here is left aligned. So I'm going to select that and then save. We need to go back over here now to our section settings and set our sticky elements. So to do that, I'm going to come over here to the background and then click on my sticky option and then make sure I'm in my sticky state. So for my sticky color, I'm going to set this to white. And for my background color, I'm going to paste my color in here. But first of all, I need to click on this little icon and paste my color like that. The next step now is to add a box shadow, both on our sticky and our normal. So to do that, uh, we're going to come over here now to design and then scroll down to box shadow. And uh, the option I'm going to choose is this one right here. So you can see my drop shadow has been applied. I am going now to click on this little icon for my sticky options and then click on sticky. So on sticky, I need to make sure there is a shadow here. So I'm going to paste my values between the brackets just like that. But over here now on the desktop, I need to get rid of it completely because we have a color anyway. Next, we need to come over here to our menu text because there's a few things we need to update here. So let's go to the shopping cart icon. I need to set it to white and let's go ahead and add in the sticky state color. So I'm going to paste my color in here. Next, we're going to come to our search icon color. Again, I'm going to set it to white for the normal state. And then for the sticky state, I'm going to paste my color in here. And let's go to the hamburger menu. Same thing. Set this to white. On the sticky, I'm going to add my color. So for now, let's go ahead and save. Now we also need to add this button here on our menu. So to achieve that, we're going to copy and paste it. I'm going to right click, copy module, and then I'm also going to paste the module. Now let's do further customizing here. So I'm going to click here on this gear icon to go into my button. 
and then click on advanced. So over here on the advanced, we need to go to our position. So I'm going to select my position here. And for this, we need to set this to absolute. And we need it right at the center like that. Now let's go over here to our design tab and go to our filters. So we're going to come all the way down here to opacity. So here we're going to choose our states as well. So I'm going to click on this little icon. So on the uh, sticky state, we need this at 100%. But on the normal, we want to bring our opacity down to zero. Now, once you're done here, we need to click on save. And now let's take a look at our final design. All right. So if we take a look at our header now, so this is the mobile version. You can see it changing there. And this is our desktop version. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.